everyone and welcome to the second half of our November favorites. I have Brittany here with me. Hi. And I'll have her channel linked down below so you can see the first part mm -hmm. of our November favorites. And then this one is going to be a little bit more random than the previous one. But let's just go ahead and get into it. The first favorite I have is this leather jacket by Michael Kors. So nice feeling. And it is a real leather. Um, I got it last year at Von Mar on sale. It keeps me really warm and I just, I love the brown color. And it does have a hood, which you know, normally do not see on leather jackets. Like butter. <laughs> so she had a fashion item. I'm going a way opposite route and I have a food item to show you. And this is the Scoff European Cookie Spread in crunchy. They also had it in creamy. And I saw this on a few girls' channels recently. I'd never heard of a cookie spread, but it's like place it, replace it with your peanut butter and it tastes just like cookies. And I definitely suggest you getting the crunchy one. I haven't tried the actual creamy one, but there's just cookies crunched up in here. I kind of sounds so good. It is good. <laughs> and I find myself eating it just by itself. I know that's not good for me, but it's so amazing, and Sam loves this too. I just picked this up at Walmart in the peanut butter aisle. I have one more food item. I always have food items in my favorites. I feel like this is Blue Diamond Almonds in the scent flavor, not scent, <laughs> coffee almonds mocha, mocha flavor. That was just too much for me. <laughs> this is what the package looks like. I got this at Target and it's just mocha flavored covered almonds. I just found myself putting this in my purse and I eat it throughout the day when I get really hungry but I'm not at home to actually make a meal and it keeps my appetite under control. Have any left to share? No. <laughs> Ate them all. <laughs> And next we're going to share some perfumes and scents we've been really loving this month. And for me, I've been loving two perfumes. And the first one is by Bath & Body Works and it's in the scent Forever Red. And this just smells like, like caramel. It says caramel liqueur. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a really nice warm scent for fall and I've just been loving it and it does last all day. This little guy retails for $10 at Bath & Body Works, but she got it for $5 on sale. And the next perfume is by Victoria's Secret, and it is in the scent Feathered Musk. It was a limited edition, but I did see it online, and they are having a $25 perfume sale on all the perfumes right now, so I would definitely check that out. And the scent is kind of a warm, fruity scent. It's definitely cherry, and I love cherry. Does it smell like cherry vanilla or something? I smell vanilla, not so much cherry, but it smells really good and honey too. Really? No. I'm not really I just love it. It's a little bit different than everything I have. I think um, all my scents are really good for summer, but this one's just been really good for fall with the more warmer tones to it. Okay, and then and my sense this month is not perfume or candle related, but it is a home spray fragrance from Pure One. I did a haul on Black Friday and I bought my local store. I bought all of them, so unfortunately no one can get them in my area. <laughs> That's alright, because you can get it online if you want to. It just smells like cinnamon and sugar. Whitney doesn't like it too much because it's not sugary enough. But I was expecting like kind of brown sugar and cinnamon, but it's really kind of like a red hot cinnamon. Yeah, yeah so less on the sugar. <laughs> definitely harsher, but it still smells really good and it's very strong, which for me that's good. Some of you might not want it that strong, but it just makes my entire room smell like the cinnamon, which is amazing. And this is seven dollars retail, but I think I got it for around like three or four dollars on Black Friday. You should go pick it up if you haven't smelled it already. <laughs> and last but not least, I have a candle from Bath & Body Works. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and it is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles candle. And it smells so good. And it is so strong. I even had it laying here during our first video. And I could smell it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know why I didn't pick one of those up. I really think it smells like... Um, like syrup and just sugar. It's so good. I did talk about it a little bit more in my empties video, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And overall, it's probably my second favorite candle ever. First would be Cinnamon Sugar Donut, so which good. I'm sure you can agree on that, but it is so good. 
Oh, tell them what you told me about the cinnamon sugar donut. That's coming back out? Yes. Well, yes. you never know because it could be a test, but I did hear that it is coming out. I've seen the label already, and I think the wax is a little bit different. I think it's a darker, kind of yellowy, but I already have five, so I probably won't get any when it does I come out. Four. You're not going to get any. I'm going to buy the entire I need to at least them. burn, like, three before you I think about it. it. You I know, know, but okay. Well, wow. I have a really big collection. We're lucky because we live in Ohio and Bath and Body Works is like mm -hmm. main centered there. So do you know where like the new test scent store is? You were telling me about that a while ago. I think it could be at Tuttle. Not really sure. Definitely around in the Columbus area. Yeah. And also if um, you have an outlet, I'm sure you could find test scents there because I, I do have a few test scents that I did get from the outlet. So that is all of our favorites for this month. And if you didn't see the first video, I will link Brittany's channel down below, so definitely check that out, and maybe we'll see you again in another video. Bye! Bye.